I scoured the internet looking for every freebie and promo available for the national and put them all together in one video you can watch right now. I even saved something very special at the end of the video. You are going to want to check out what freebies and promos are you most looking forward to at the 2023 national. Leave a comment down below. Let us all know. Upper Deck of Beyond site doing rapper redemptions yet again. As always, and not surprising, there will be different levels depending on what box you buy or what case you buy. Now, the cool part is if you decide to spend the money on a case, let's say you're a big hockey fan or a good one fan, whatever the case may be, you will get a bunch of promo packs and entry into a raffle for some random autograph card. Their setup is usually quite comfortable there, too. You can sit down, rip at the booth. They do a really good job. Tops is back with their rapper redemption program as well. You can look here on the screen at the items that will be affected. Overall, Tops products and national products are really good as well. It's really worth your time to go ahead and check out if you plan on buying wax. Just make sure you follow the rules that are required. Make sure you bring a wrap. Don't peel it before. Make sure you get it from one of the approved people. It'll be worth your time. Now, I don't know what very limited means, but they do say Bowman U, F1, and soccer. They do have exclusive national packs in a very limited capacity. So go ahead and jump on those early if it's something you're interested in. Tops is also running a trade night in partnership with women in the hobby being held at the field you can go watch opening night softball and partake in this there are discounts listed on the screen here where you can pay to lower your price might be something fun trade night sponsored by top that is friday the 28th go check out if you want to if not it's all good i've been trying to stall this off as long as i possibly can waiting for pinini the other big one to come back and let us know what they plan on doing so far, all I know is the stuff I got me email where they were talking about the good old fashioned redemption program. If you didn't get the email, eh, it's probably not going to really apply all that much. Who knows? You can try, bring them with you, get in line. Maybe you'll get lucky. Get yourself a black box or white box 101. You can expect silver packs from them as usual. They'll have a list breaking down of what you can buy, what's eligible, what isn't. Obviously, you get in a massive line at the Padini booth to pick up your redemptions, but hey, it could be worth it. Of course, they will be doing their VIP party, which is very expensive. I forget the price, 10 grand, 12 grand, something like that for the ticket. You get hundreds of silver packs, 150 gold packs, gem boxes, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. If that's something you might be interested, you want to go hobnob with some athletes, eat some good food, get some great product, hey, might be a place for you. If you're an entrepreneuring sort of person and you have the bankroll to do it, you could probably take all those silver packs, gold packs, throw them right on eBay and make all your money back plus more and keep the gem boxes for yourself. But that isn't guidance. I'm just saying people go nuts for silver packs and gold packs around the time of the national. Now, if you wait a few weeks, it won't much matter, but I'm telling you, it's something to consider. Leaf will be set up on site as well, doing a redemption program of their own. Much like every other vendor, it'll be for single boxes or cases. Now, depending on the product you buy, will define how many redemption packs you're actually going to get. If I read it right, the Leaf promo pack should have one-of-one -one proofs in them and possibly one-of-one -one proof autographs. And depending on what box you buy, anywhere from one to three packs will be available to you. I'd take them up on this if Leaf is a product you actually enjoy. Jersey Fusion is going to be on site as well with a couple of promos of their own. One is basically what they're calling a trade table. You open a box of Jersey Fusion, you don't like the player you got, you bring it over to that table, you can one for one swap with something else at that table. They're also doing a buy three, get one free deal, but there is a catch. You have to buy three very specific products, which you can see right here on the screen, bring those over to the table, rip them there, and then boom, you get your fourth. Still not a bad deal if you like Jersey Fusion. Steel City Collectibles will be on site again with a massive setup as always. They will be running their Gold Rush promo for box or cases. Depending on what you buy from the items I'm going to show you on the screen now, you can either get boxes, which will get you 8x10s, or by cases, which will get you lightning boxes. Hey, if you like Gold Rush already, it's something you probably should go check out. Bel Air Sports Cards will be running promo as well. Unsurprisingly, they have deals with Upper Deck and Jersey Fusion. It kind of goes with some of the other stuff I was saying earlier. But more so for them, it's about their mystery boxes and the good old-fashioned cowbell. They'll have Kaboom tickets available throughout the day where you can win really cool prizes. They really haven't mentioned what those prizes are, but I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. So be on the lookout heading into the National. Not surprisingly, Pristine Auctions will be there as well in full force, I might add. After all, they are co-sponsoring part of the event, and here you will be able to get into live exclusive auctions at the National. They will have giveaways and other items like that. There's also a really cool partnership I respect Pristine for that I'll talk about at the end of this video. Com C or check out my cards will be on site as well. They'll provide an avenue for a consignment drop-off center if that's what you want to do. They have great submission promotions if that's what you're looking to do. In fact, I think it's almost 50% off for each level. But you have the space and you can bring it with you and you have the stuff to turn in. It might be something you might want to look into. They'll also be doing free giveaways. Time where you can chat with Tim and some of the other folks higher up in ComC. Talk to them about your opinions. You can actually schedule that in advance. Go to the ComC page. Check that out. 
Keep in mind, though, when you turn stuff into Com C, it's not going to show up in your inventory the next day. They're going to take it back with them, process it at pretty much the same speed. You'll just be paying a lot less, and you'd have to pay for the shipping. Like every other national, you can expect eBay will have a massive presence at the national as well. In fact, you can expect them to do some virtual vault launches. Not quite sure exactly what that is, but it might be a little interesting. I think it's like a VR tour. They always run some pretty cool live events. You can look out for that. They also do scavenger hunts, some other cool items. Look, eBay does stuff on a regular basis at the National, so make sure you go keep track of what's going on. Heck, go over there and find out what each day's activities would be. Maybe they won't let you down. Look, we all know TriStar is going to be there. Heck, the Autograph Pavilion is named after them. As always, they'll be back with their Incredible Treasures promo. The way that works is you look at some of the items here in the screenshot. You go buy one of those from somewhere on the show floor, bring it to them. They'll tear it open, and what you get is a TriStar bag and then entry into their Incredible Treasures promo. I mean, talking about DiMaggio cut signatures, Giannis signed jerseys, Ben Affleck signed items, etc. The list goes on and on and on. Incredible treasures really are incredible. The odds, also pretty incredible. Unsurprisingly, the Ripping Wax Case Pavilion will be sponsored by Whatnot. They expect them to be doing a bunch of promos, a bunch of giveaways, a bunch of other things. And if Whatnot is your cup of tea, it's not for me, then go ahead and knock yourself out. There'll be tons of stuff going on, guaranteed. They'll be giving away tons of items. In fact, they'll have sponsored people breaking for them, giving stuff away as well. The details are a little fuzzy, but if you're a Whatnot fan, this might be a way for you to go. SGC will be on site grading as well. This is the first time, mind you, that SGC will be grading on site. At the time of this recording, they haven't published on social media yet what those prices would be. You can expect them to be somewhere between what CGC is and what PSA charges. Any more than that would be a big mistake. You can also expect them to run some kind of promos, giveaways, things like that at their booth. What they are yet, unknown at this time, but guaranteed there'll be something. Of course, PSA will be there as well, taking submissions for the PSA vault, on-site grading, lightning lanes, and one to end number of other things. Now, if you compare their prices to CGC's prices, obviously the on-site grading is much higher. Of course, the return on your investment, equally much higher. Their on-site grading starts at about 150 bucks for cards valued up to $2,500. Expect to get it back at the end of the show. You can go all the way up to 5000 or even more to get a card graded and hand it back to you in three hours. That's going to be one heck of a card if you're trying to grade at that price. You can expect a lot of promo for the PSA app, the PSA Vault. And, of course, they'll be handling PSA autograph authentication as well. Outside of JSA and Beckett, the only other candidate you have is PSA. Now, look, the PSA line is going to be insanely long. So if that's where you're going, try to get there as early as you can. Get in line to your drop-offs, expresses, whatever the case may be. Odds are this will be the longest line for grading at the National. Beckett will, of course, be on site as well with a big presence like normal. You'll be able to turn things in like VHS tapes, games, comics, cards for grading, and, of course, authentication, encapsulation, and grading of all those cards. The patented raw card review will be in play as well. Not quite sure where the pricing is. Expected in the $20 to $30 range per card, depending on value. And like every other grading company, they will be taking submissions so you don't have to mail it to the company yourself. They'll take them, bring it back with you, grading on a regular timeline. The details have been scarce, but they're also doing a kid's scavenger hunt. And there's a chance for a golden ticket. That golden ticket could get you one-of-one art, a -a one-of-a-kind Zion case, things like that. And if you're looking to buy items like Dragon Shield or Beckett Shield, they'll be running a discount of 25% off regular price there at the show. CGC will be on-site grading as well, much like Beckett and PSA and SGC. For the first time, though, they will be offering on-site grading. You look at the prices here, you're talking about $20 a card compared to $150 for PSA. So if it's something you're remotely interested, you might want to go check it out. For sports cards specifically, is the return on investment as good with a CSG slab, or excuse me, a CGC now slab compared to PSA? No, obviously not. But it's 20 bucks instead of 150 so if maybe you want to do a little quick flipping, this might be an idea for you. All right, and I know I said it was special, but this one is honestly very near and dear to my heart. The National, i.e. pristine auctions of the National, has partnered up with Signatures for Soldiers as a medically retired military veteran. This means the world to me. Look, Signatures for Soldiers is a big organization. They're a 501c charity that does incredible work for the military veterans, veterans with disabilities, so on and so on. The fact that there will be auctions and proceeds from auctions going to benefit Signatures for Soldiers, which in turn benefit my brothers and sisters, is huge to me. I highly encourage you to go check out anything they're doing there. And if you got a little extra money, go ahead, throw it that way. It's for a good cause. It's for the people that help you. It's for the people that protect this country. Trust me, it'll be worth your time, and it'll warm your heart. Enjoy the 2023 National.